Pope Francis, the Antichrist, the new religion. In the name of Jesus, the absolute truth, I speak to all who listen or read the text of this message with Maccabeic determination and with the spirit of Christ and all the martyrs who have shed their blood for the Catholic faith. I intend to defend my faith, the faith of my parents, of the parents of my parents, and of the whole Catholic Church over 2,000 years. We are living in times in which our Catholic religion has been gradually transformed into an NGO, an organization promoting humanitarian action, welfare, solidarity, fraternity, equality, freedom of conscience, and thus it looks more like a non-governmental organization dedicated to humanism than the disciples of Christ. Instead of the true evangelization which is to promote the message of Christ as the only means of salvation, the new church of Pope Francis is immersed in an ecumenism that promotes dialogue among peoples, religions and governments, seeking welfare, progress, end of poverty, and the call for a new cult of the respect for nature. This new church is moving Catholics away from the true faith in God. Remember the etymology of the word religion from the Latin religare, consisting of two words, re and ligare, which means time. This is what religion means, what ties us to God. The Catholic religion is the tie that binds us to God. But this new teaching of Pope Francis does not tie us to God. It wants to tie us up to the world with ideas of a common house, a promotion of a sustainable development, ecological conversion, all these associated with climate change and a series of ideas parallel to the United Nations whom Francis exhorts us to obey. In this political obsession of Pope Francis, because it is not religious, that is to say, it does not tie us to God, but to the world, Pope Francis is leading the Church to the misunderstanding of the divine law, to the neglect of the Catholic creed that calls us to proclaim Jesus, the Son of God, who died for our sins, achieved our salvation, and rose from the dead. Francis sets aside the commandments of God, showing sin as something that does not offend God. This is how he does it in the exhortation Amoris Laetitia, accepting gay relationships and marriages that are not legally constituted in the sacrament of marriage, and also with the itinerary of biblical anthropology published on September 30, 2019 in Italian, Che cosa è l'uomo in English, what is man, which says that homosexuality is a legitimate and worthy expression of the human being. It is no longer sin. Pope Francis, with his new religion, also creates an ecological consciousness in which man is under nature, and thus he begins his exhortation, Laudato Si with the cult to Mother Earth and the desecration of the Temple of God with the veneration of the Pachamama which has been enthroned as the beginning of the abomination of desolation foretold in the Holy Scriptures. Our Catholic religion has as its center the Holy Eucharist, which is the same Emmanuel, God with us also available in the sacrament of confession and other sacraments. So, what is happening with Pope Francis is that he is diverting us from the presence of God, God's way through the Gospel, to bring us to a path of fraternity that is not fraternity or brotherhood in the blood of Christ, 
but in global humanism, in pagan blood, or in other words, the acceptance of the world, one of the enemies of the soul. As a result, we are losing the faith, and the Church has centered the apostasy prophesied in the Holy Scriptures. There are many who want to remain faithful to Pope Francis, and do so with good intentions. But remember that we must be faithful to Christ first, and we cannot deviate from the true path. We must be faithful only to the faithful magisterium of the Catholic Church. And as the martyrs, we must be prepared to give our lives for the truth. These events promoted by Pope Francis, who is apocalyptically the last Pope, are preparing a welcome to the Antichrist, who will sit on the chair of Peter to rule the world with the new global religion of the devil. In other reflections and videos of the work of God, we explain the association of the plan of Pope Francis with Freemasonry and the overall plan of the United Nations. My dear brother and sister in the Catholic faith, what we are seeing in the Church, in Pope Francis and in those who follow him, is not the true religion. Blessed are those who still lead the healthy doctrine, those who are attending Mass and receiving the body of Christ. Very soon all this will disappear with the abolition of the Holy Mass, the perpetual sacrifice. Let us live out our faith, let us protest about these innovations that are destroying the Church, let us bring to the light all this anti-Christian manipulation that is hypnotizing the naive ones with the advice of Satan. I bless you all with the blessing of the Holy Trinity and the blessing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of the Blessed Virgin Mary. If you like this video, I ask you please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and please share this video and these publications with others. God bless you.